According to the Kerbin data, this fiscal year, the in Indian growth rate, the real growth rate, will be 5%. Now, one of the major reasons for this slowdown is the bad debt problem or the NPA problem, non-performing non asset problem, as we call it. Now, it is warranted that we spend some time talking about this problem, how we got here, how big the problem is, and what are the steps government is taking to solve this problem. So in this video, I'm going to do that. Um, let's do it. Now, how big this problem really is. The scheduled commercial banks in India had a gross NPA of 9.3% during the period March to September 2019. Let's put that number in some perspective. USA had a gross NPA or GNPA of less than 1%. China less than 2%, UK around 1%, Canada less than half a percent. Now among the major economies, only Russia had a gross NPA of more than India. Now you can understand this is a significant problem. Now the major problem area is the, the, um, the public sector banks. The gross NPA of public sector banks was around 12.7%. The private banks 3.9% and the foreign banks 2.9%. So it's a, it is majorly a public sector bank problem. Quantity wise or if you consider the distribution of the bad loans, it is again the public sector bank. 79% of the bad loans or NPAs are in the public sector banks. 20% in the private banks and the foreign banks had only 1%. Now we are talking about NPAs and let's look at the RBI guidelines according to which a loan or advance would be classified as a bad loan or NPA. So let's do it. As per RBI master circular, potential norms on income recognition, asset classification and provisioning pertaining to advances, any term loan for which the interest or principal remain overdue for more than 90 days will be classified as NPA. In case of overdraft or cash credit, if the account remain out of order for more than 90 days, again it will be classified as NPA. In case of bill purchase, if the account remain uh, overdue for more than 90 days, it will be classified as NPA. In case of advances to for agricultural purposes, if the interest and or principal remain overdue for two harvest seasons, it will be classified as NPA. In case of any other amount, um, any amount if the uh, it remains overdue for more than 90 days, again it will be classified as NPA. Now we have to understand that if one of the facilities provided to a party um, becomes NPA, all other facilities will also considered will also be considered as NPA. Now let's look at the classifications of different NPAs, it's different categories of NPAs. Now the NPAs can be classified in three groups, uh, substandard assets, doubtful assets and loss assets. Now um, the NPAs which are less than 18 months old are considered as substandard assets and the NPAs which are more than 18 months old will be considered as doubtful assets and uh, if some NPA is identified um, by the bank or the internal external auditors or by RBI inspection inspectors that uh, it will not be recovered uh, then it will be considered as loss assets. Now the provisioning are, provisioning are different for different groups. Um, for substandard assets, 10% of the outstanding amount should be provisioned. Uh, in case of doubtful assets, the 100% of the unsecured portion will be provisioned and 20 to 50% of the secured portion will be provisioned. In case of loss assets, 100% should be written off. Now, let's take a step back and think about what really created this problem. Generally, NPS soar during economic crisis like that happened in East Asia during 1997-98. But the Indian story was different, is different. The Economic Survey 2016-17 recognizes that twin balance sheet problem and shows how we got into this problem. The twin balance sheet problem is 
the crisis in balance sheets of banks and the corporates. Now, let's see how we got into this situation. Uh, during mid 2000, the economies all over the world was were growing rapidly. Indian GDP was growing at nine to ten percent per annum, and it was widely expected that India will join China and grow at uh, double digit double digit rate for many decades. Now. Companies obviously made huge plans and they started investing a lot and the investment to GDP ratio had soared by 11% uh, reaching a level of 38% by 2008 2007 Now this was these investments were supported by uh, a huge credit boom the largest India had ever seen between the fiscal 2004-5 and 2008-9 the non-food credit doubled the foreign capital inflow was also or also surged resulted in a huge credit build up in the system unfortunately at this point things started to go south the cost of the projects started to soar because of the delay created by the environment clearances and land acquisition clearances etc also when the global um, crisis the global financial crisis hit india the revenue projections started to be proven completely impractical the financing cost also increased for corporates because rbi increased the policy rates to deal with the double digit inflation now the rupee also depreciated creating problem for the companies who took loan from foreign banks now we are looking at a situation where higher cost lower revenue greater financial costs created a cash flow squeeze for companies now at, this, at one point more than one third of the companies were in india had an interest coverage ratio of less than one that they are not making enough money to pay the interest now we know how we got into this situation now what are the different steps being are being taken to um, solve this problem let's look at over the years, many different steps are being taken to find a solution to this problem. Some of them are 525 refinancing of infrastructure scheme, private asset reconstruction companies, that is ARCs introduced by Surface Act, SDR, that is strategic debt restructuring, asset quality review, etc. Now, the current government, the Modi, Modi government, has introduced a four-hour strategy to combat the NPA problem. Um, this, this constitutes of recognition of the NPAs transparently, resolution and recovery of value from the stressed assets, recapitalization of the private sector banks, because the private sector banks are the major problem area, and reforms like uh, insolvency and bankruptcy court, to change the credit culture of this country, uh, comprehensive due diligence requirements and effective monitoring, etc. Now, with this, we can hope that these measures will show some results because uh, the N NPA problem has been dragging down the economy of India for a long time. With this hope, uh, thank you for watching. This is Sam Bose.